God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Good morning, St. Therese family. Good morning, Mr. Lord. Happy Tuesday to all of you. Thank you so much, and happy second week of school. Happy second week of school. I'm excited to, to be back here, although uh, it's certainly not the same with these uh, morning assemblies without the presence of, of our joyful and wonderful children. Um, but we begin our second week of school today uh, with a focus on our SLE of being faith-filled servant leaders. So Mrs. Day will break that down a bit more this afternoon. But our saint for today, it gives us a great head start into this week and into this call that we all share to be faith-filled servant leaders. So I'll give you a chance to put in the chat, if you're on Zoom, who you think the saint for today is or what part of the life of the saint we celebrate. And the answer is... Mary? Today is the feast of the birth of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Good job, Gabriel. You listened in the car. That's good. Uh, so today we honor the birth of Mary. Mary is one of two saints, along with John the Baptist, who has a, a feast day around their birth as well as the day of their death. And so we honor Mary as the one who God chose before she was born to bring Jesus, to bring God into the world. And so uh, one n name for Mary, we have many names, is Theotokos in Greek, which means the God-bearer, the one who brought God into the world. And of course, we know that Mary had a choice when she grew up to say yes or no to this call um, to give birth to Jesus. And she said yes because her faith called her to serve God, to serve others. And everything she did as the mother of Jesus and throughout her life was about serving others. And that's the leadership we need in our world and the faith-filled servant leadership that we're called to in our own lives, whether it's in a virtual classroom, in our household, out in the community, or if we're elected into public office or a leadership of an organization, we are called to be faith-filled servant leaders. So our faith inspires our actions, and the way we lead is not by um, using our power to oppress others or to put them down, but rather to lift them up. And Mary is the pinnacle example for us of a faith-filled servant leader. So as we go about our days today and start our second week of school, let's remember our call to be faith-filled servant leaders. And like Mary, say yes to the invitations to serve and lead that come our way. Mary, Mother of Jesus, pray for us. And we begin our day together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, dear Jesus. This day is for you. We ask you to bless all we think, say, and do. We love you, God. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I am only one, but I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. What I can do, I ought to do. And what I ought to do, I will do, by the grace of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll work on that. As a reminder... When we make the sign of the cross, we reach up to the Father in heaven, remind ourselves that Jesus the Son came down to earth, and that the Holy Spirit is all around us. And we agree with this central teaching of the Trinity with an amen. Thank you, Maria. Uh, we don't have a flag out here this morning, so uh, with the red, white, and blue of the St. Therese uniform, uh, we put our right hands over our hearts and say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We give our flag bearers, wherever you are, a round of applause. Thank you for doing your part. And we close our assembly out today with a reminder to be faith-filled servant leaders, um, no matter where we find ourselves today, 
and we sing lift every voice and sing so here we go lift every voice and sing I'm trying to remember which version all right let's do it let's get a little closer Gabe and Maria so they can hear us Ready to sing? <laughs> Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberty Let our rejoicing rise High as the listening skies, let it resound loud as the rolling seas. Sing, sing a song full of the faith that the dark paths has taught us. Sing a song. Full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun. Let us march on till victory is won. Let us march on till victory is won. Amen. Well, St. Therese, let's be faith-filled servant leaders today. Have a blessed Tuesday. And remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Have a blessed Tuesday, St. Therese family.